The US is where BMX started. Since I was a little kid, this is just what I've wanted to do. It's always just been a dream. If I would retire in a couple of years and I look back and I have never tried the USA BMX series, I think I would regret it. Achtervolging hier. The USA BMX series is, of course, the American series. You got 20 nationals, the best eight scores count, and then the grants. And the grants count is double. The fact that you need a whole season to put yourself in the race to be up for the title, and then it's still decided on that last final race day at the grants, yeah, is what makes this series so different than any other series. So the year started off at West Palm Beach. Yeah, that was my first race after the Olympics. Pretty happy to start the year off with two podiums and to just be back racing. After West Palm, we went to Houston, Texas. One, my roommate Simon Markhart won. I think I actually raced pretty well the whole day. Pass on people, finished fourth. Not great, not bad. It's alright, another day tomorrow. But the thing that bothered me a little bit was that in 2015, I won the World Championships, raced the year in the Rainbow Stripes, but I didn't win any big races in that jersey. And even though no one even mentioned that, I judged myself for not winning in the Rainbow jersey. So as soon as I won the World Champs last year, I knew I had the Rainbow jersey again. I was injured. I knew I want to recover as fast as possible because I have another chance to to win in the rainbow jersey. And at this point I was again pretty pretty annoyed that we're yeah, three races in, the clock is ticking before the world champs, and I still just didn't win in the rainbow jersey. on the wind up with this one downtown we're gonna go to team rip roll on that one as he hits it down that second straight away oh lands on the smooth man goes down that pro set in and out that second turn but here comes the world champ um yeah i ended up winning I think on my reaction when I crossed the line, you could see how much that meant to me. There was like a massive weight lift off my shoulders. Rock Hill, next race, bam, won again. Get things moving on right now. Looking for an answer, whole shot of word. Who's got the horse going on a Friday night? Up for him, down the second straightaway. Kennedy's on the move with Lawrence to try to find a way up front. It's off Kennedy. Kennedy, Dade, one, two, three.
So the main thing is, even though I won the Olympics and the World Champ last year, I think I was more hungry than I've ever been. Cause just because I wanted to prove myself that I could win in the rainbow jersey. But then, because I think that was my main goal, as soon as I accomplished that, I just felt, I felt pretty flat. And like when I crossed the line in Rock Hill, I won. I wasn't screaming, I wasn't happy, I was just pretty flat, pretty much no emotion. I think looking back I've probably just been delaying my post-Olympic depression because of the goal to win in the rainbow jersey. And um, yeah, I just tried to keep pushing, but then yeah, after Tulsa and I realized I just needed a break. I don't know what a burnout feels like, but I think I was pretty close to it at that point. Yeah, just decided to take three months off. Performance-wise wasn't the best, but I think long-term is really something I needed. So the World Champs was my first race after my three-month break. I made the semis, I was riding okay. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to defend my world title and went out in the semi-finals, but it was good to be back racing. Then in Salt Lake, I could feel that those three months off was the best thing I could have possibly done, because day two, it was raining, it was muddy, but I had the biggest smile on my face. I was just finding puddles and riding through it and yeah, felt like a little kid again. We just loved riding my bike. I didn't win, but at least I, I could feel I was happy again riding, which I missed in the early part of the season. I missed some races which didn't help me points-wise for the USA BMX title, but I felt like, yeah, I had my mojo back and wanted to have a good late season run to hopefully get some scores. Find your 313 bike out of the Netherlands for Milo, Fox of TLD, your Olympic gold medalist, Nick Kimman. Goed weekendje, derde gisteren, vandaag eerste. Blij na mijn eerste overwinning sinds april, denk ik. Merka. Merka, baby. I think three months ago, Justin asked me how much it would be to, to join me in the US. If you wanted to join me for the last three months of the season, how much it'd be. So I made a rough calculation. Then he's been doing clinics, saving money. Uh, and here we are with my little brother traveling in the US. And now that last grade, he's going to go. Kennedy coming back around. Kim and ramping it up down that last grade away. Larson tight for a two spot back to the line. Going to go. Kennedy back to the line.
momenteel de laatste drie maanden van het seizoen eigenlijk. Samen met Nick en Amerika. Ik denk dat je, als je ons dat 15 jaar terug had verteld, dat we het helemaal vet zouden vinden. Waar bevindt u zich momenteel? <laughs> Ik ken het toch niet serieus. We zijn nu in Weeksveld. De laatste national, laatste weekend voor de Grands. I hadn't raced on a flat hill in a long time, so it was the final test to see, yeah, how I would perform on a flat hill. Day one, I didn't make the final. And unfortunately, day two didn't go much better. Didn't make the final both days, and yeah, it ended up being my worst weekend in over three years. This is the first time in uh, probably five months of being in the US that I'm like, I want to go home. <laughs> Two B mains, definitely not the way you want to go into Grants. Put my feet back on the ground and I realized I had uh, five weeks to get some work done and try to do better in Tulsa. Let's see if I can beat my bus and a train. De laatste weken veel gereisd, dus ja, gewoon niet heel veel kwalitatief getraind. Het is niet dat Bakersfield nou echt goed ging, dus um, ja, het is mijn, laatste, mijn zwaarste krachtsessie tot aan de grens. We fietsen natuurlijk op een baan, niet in de sportschool. Prijzen win je op de baan, niet in de sportschool. Maar ik weet door de jaren heen wel een beetje wat voor niveau ik minimaal nodig heb om goed te zijn op de baan. Dus uh, kijk of ik dat haal vandaag. Maar mag het zo fijn zijn. Let's go! So my plan for this little US trip was a little, little three months on the road. <laughs> so I want to train, but I want to have ride as many new tracks as possible. Therefore I decided to be two weeks around Vegas. So we have a base, we're not traveling all the time. We have three good tracks to train on. And then after three weeks, we go to a new location, do the same thing there. Like I just wanted to have as many different tracks as possible without being road tripping 
because I feel like even though that's super fun, it's pretty exhausting. So I tried to find a balance between having a spot to train on and riding the most different tracks possible. Ik voel me zo slecht. Griefjes te pakken. Ik moet flinken. Even een hapje eten. Ik heb geen honger. Ik heb vandaag één reepje, één banaan. Ik denk vier happen van dit. Hoe kan het? Oh, ik mag niet lachen. Morgen ben je weer fit. Morgen ben ik weer mooi. Weer. <laughs> ik heb denk ik de hele week met koorts in bed gelegen. Dus uh, zoals je aan mijn stem misschien kunt horen, nog niet echt 100%. Maar het is lekker om weer wat te doen, een beetje rustig weer inkomen. Ja. We hebben nog uh, zes dagen om te trekken naar de grens. En misschien een virus in mijn lichaam wat nu gewoon eruit is. Dus ik heb, ik heb ergens nog wel hoop. Maar niet helemaal hoe ik deze uh, trip voor me had gezien. Ik heb wel lol gehad en ook bij Justin, we hebben echt wel veel gelachen. Maar gewoon qua echt fiets specifiek had ik misschien iets meer gehoopt. Maar goed, we hebben nog zes dagen. Het is gewoon uh, of je echt 100% in topvorm bent of gewoon net niet. In principe het doel blijft hetzelfde. Het is gewoon ja, het beste eruit halen wat erin zit. Meer kunnen we niet doen, hè? It is what it is. It is what it is. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. What's cool about the Grands is that they build the track just for that race, so no one has an advantage. Everyone just has 50 minutes to figure out the track and then uh, it's time to go racing. Race day! In the beginning of this video I said you have 20 nationals and the Grands. I wasn't exactly right, there were actually 21 nationals, the Rock or the race of champions is the day before the grant and that's your last day to try to better your eight scores. Quarter final at the Rock. 
Had a bad start. Passed some people, luckily got myself into a qualifying position. Unfortunately, slid out, and the day ended a bit earlier than I had hoped. Net terug in het hotel, geval in de kwart. Ik had slechte start, ik kwam nog terug naar vier, dus op zich alles goed, maar toen gleek uit. Dus helaas is mijn knie altijd al mijn zwakke plek, dus dan ben ik net weer opgevallen. Dus dat is een beetje koelen, uitrusten en dan. Uh... Kijken we wel wat het wordt morgen. En mijn knees zijn pretty swollen en pretty stiff. I wasn't able to do a gate the whole practice. First moto didn't have a good start. Cameron Larson fell in front of me, fell over him, and I fell on my knee again. Yeah, after this, I yeah, basically thought my day would be over. Had a pretty hard moto. My knee was painful and um, yeah, basically lost all my hope. So I had an eighth and a third, which, which meant I basically needed to win my last moto to make it to the quarterfinals. I had lane 7 outside lane with Arthur Pilar who finished second at the, the Rock in lane 1. So I knew it would be a really tough one, but I knew I really needed to win this lap if I yeah, wanted to keep the dream alive. Yeah, had the best start, the best first straight of the weekend, qualified myself for the quarterfinal. Coming back at us. Yeah, boy. Ga echt, denk ik, drie van mijn beste rondjes ooit nodig hebben. En een handjevol geluk wat de anderen doen. Maar Dream is still alive.
every time you make a video like this, you start filming without knowing what the outcome will be. George Dode and Cam Wood were just on a other level the whole weekend. I tried my absolute best, but uh, a fifth was the best I could do. I definitely made a lot of mistakes along the way. Things I could have done, could have done better. Things I would do different in the future. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. I wanted, yeah, some life experience. And yeah, hopefully learn stuff that will make me a better writer and a better person in the future. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good ending to the video. I don't really know what to say. I'd like to thank, of course, my sponsors, my friends, my family. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for just, yeah, every little kid that asked me for a photo, every person that asked me for an autograph. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for making me feel welcome. And I'm looking forward to, yeah, be back doing some USA BMX Nationals next year. Cut! <laughs>